Welcome back to another episode. <laughs> yes, I'm very quiet again because there's people doing other stuff in the house. So I'm trying to hear it. Let me see if I can actually like enhance my voice somehow. <laughs> nope, okay. Anyway, so as you can see I've leveled up my stuff a bit here. So we're gonna get right back into this. Hey, right where we left off. That was fast. No, uh, actually it wasn't. It took me an entire night. Didn't I tell you? Long story short, the underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of corrosion called the fragmentum started to spread. It's ruined a lot of mines. So wait, here's one thing I'm just thinking about here, right? Is um is like uh what am I trying to say here? Okay, so they didn't initially know what a Stellaron is, right? But they know what Fragmentum is. But these things kind of go hand in hand. So how do they not know what? Uh, the one we're heading into is relatively unaffected. A bunch of vagrants made it their home after their old turf was consumed by the Fragmentum. Actually, most of them are pretty honest folks. Okay. But with such a large group, it's inevitable that troublemakers will find their way in. They've been stealing stuff from the miners and picking fights. And that's not the worst of it. Things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge clashes have been breaking out between the miners and the vagrants. It isn't pretty. Yeah, that does not sound good, especially because life down here is already hard enough as it is. Mines are our lifelines in the underworld. We have to keep providing Geomero to the overworld in exchange for supplies. Oh, so they actually do send supplies down. I was expecting they actually didn't, and it was just like empty promises. In order to quell the situation, Chief Oleg brought wildfire into the mine and left me in charge of security for the towns. But the situation in the mine is critical. I have to back him up. Okay. Oh. As for you, the chief will decide your fate when we see him. That definitely doesn't sound ominous. Good. I've been wanting to come face to face with oh, the Oh, she's talking to Bronia. You're about to come face to face with reality. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, and actually. Huh? Isn't that the doctor lady? Hey. What's Natasha doing here? <laughs> I already have C three Natasha, by the way. I'm trying to get Zila. Matt, I didn't think you'd be here. Where's Oleg? Hey, Zila and Sampo's guests. So it looks like you've already met. I haven't seen Oleg. The miners said they saw him take a group further in. That doesn't sound good. That... Yeah, I, that doesn't sound good. Oh? You look fine to me. Uh, sorry, I need to prioritize the wounded. There have been violent clashes between the miners and local thugs in the last few days. Many people are injured. You see these people? They're all miners and their family members. They want an explanation from the instigators. This area up ahead is a vagrant dwelling, but they've sealed off the entrance. I guess they're afraid that angry miners might try to take revenge. As they should, as they should. How could the situation here become such a mess? So then I'm guessing because they're both wearing the same bandana thing here that this is like a symbol of um I heard that first mining team found a geomarrow incredible deposits. <laughs> The initial estimate put it at the largest discovery in the last 30 years. Yeah, that's a big deal. Are you serious? That's big news. How come I never heard about it? Well, they weren't in a hurry to make it known. Most of the mines have been contaminated by the Fragmentum. Many people are out of work. They were afraid of being overwhelmed if they let the word out. But the vagrants here have keen eyes. They couldn't keep it hidden from them. Some local gangs wanted to profit from the situation, so they blackmailed the mining team for hush money. And that was the final straw. 
the price of wearing the same in the vein should belong to those who skirt. Yeah. <laughs> For the time they like claim As to it happens, right? that's exactly the law we have down here. Yeah. But the vagrants have their own custom. See it, share it. And that's how the clash started. Now both sides are dealing with heavy losses. So, are you guys here to help resolve the conflict? Hopefully. They're here because they need a favor from Chief Oleg. I'm escorting them. And seeing as you need that helping hand, it wouldn't be too much to ask you to lend one here first, right? No problem. Really though, the design of this character, look at like all the little details. Of course we want to help. We care about other people too, you know. Oh, that's quite nice of you. Yeah, you're probably not used to that down here. <laughs> She's not here to help. <laughs> I believe we're dealing with kind-hearted people here, Zila. Uh, As you've all I mean, seen, Bronya, the situation yes, down here is... Um, has been strange. led by a very not if kind If we can, person. we would really appreciate you helping the people. What the hell is this? I could just hit C to go there, I don't need to... Ah, wonderful, we get artifacts now. Could I, could I... Could I actually, like, I don't know, equip all this on my main character instead of Natasha? <laughs> Please. Thank you. My main damage dealer over here. Oh wait, recommended gear. Oh. Okay. There we go. Found some strange items. <laughs> it's like artifacts from Genshin. They had extra bonuses. Serious, how do we get up there? Oh, there, there we go. Sorry, I'm done. The giant war vein, the one they discovered. That must be where the clashes are. That person up ahead, is he asleep? He is. Let's head up and take a look. I might need help. That man is not moving. <laughs> Oh. Falling asleep in a place like this. Oh, he is asleep. Impressive. Okay. Hey, wakey, wakey. You'll get mushrooms growing on your head. Hmm. What? Mushroom bread? I can't see it on the menu. <gasps> Miss Sila! You got a death wish or something? How can you sleep here? Get back to safety and take shelter. Take shelter? I remember now. These guys came out of nowhere and got into a fight with the mining team. Oh god, we have a British version. Ah. Uh. <laughs> At the time I was exhausted. I'd hardly run a few feet when one of them caught me. If it weren't for wildfire, they'd have stolen the clothes wildfire, off my that's back. It. I keep thinking wallfire for some reason. Uh, further in, I guess. Those thugs took control of the vein ages ago, and they're fully armed. We poor, defenseless, good folks were no match for them. All right, British. It's right, only British thanks person. to wildfire that the great mine hasn't fallen into their hands completely. It seems like Chief Oleg must be up ahead. Hurry up and get back to safety. Look for Nat. And try not to get into another scrap along the way. Okay. Thank you for, um... Getting me on my feet. If I get back soon, kind of literally, I'll like for literally a... getting you back no. on your feet. Hmm. Okay. I recognize that woman. That's Elaine from First Mining Team. 
quick. Let's get up there and see if she's wounded. What did everybody like? <laughs> we barely moved. Elaine, we barely moved. Are you okay? Are you hurt? <sighs> Zila, thank goodness. I I'm fine. Just a couple of sprains. You've got good timing. Those vagrants were asking me about the robots, but I don't know anything. What robots? Oh, don't you know? No. The intersection of the Great Mine has been seized by a band of robots. Neither the mining team nor the vagrants can get anywhere near. That's strange. New challengers enter. About time. Human only conflicts are so boring. Does anyone know where the robots come from? At first, we thought that a collective fault had occurred in the excavation machines. But then we found out that those machines didn't even belong to the mining team. That's strange. They came out of nowhere and pushed the vagrants and us back. Then they blocked off the only tunnels into the intersection. Someone else is trying to get to this. There's a third party involved. There's no way anyone in the mining team is behind this. Operating a single unit is tiring enough, but a whole group? <laughs> Impossible. And there's only one possibility. Boss Svarog. Who? Svarog? That name sounds familiar. It does. You remember the robots we defeated in the boxing gym? Oh. Uh... He's trying to get on in this discovery as well. Let's just say he's not to be trifled with. Let's go and find some other people. Elaine, can you make it back to safety? No problem. Zila and the rest of you, be careful. Yeah, we get this. Robots aligned against humans? I've never heard of such a thing. Oh my. Is this elevator broken? Why isn't it re responding? Why is everyone down here British? That's what I want. Why are you worried about this piece of junk? Do you really want to go down there and be a live target for the robots? I can beat you guys upside the head instead. But if we evacuate, then haven't we lost out? You idiots will just steal off the miners. Look, I saw with my own eyes. They managed to bag some Geomar. This is a perfect opportunity. Um, I'm literally standing. Oh, good idea. <laughs> Wait until they turn around and realize, oh shit. Shameless. Still after the miners, are you? Time to teach you a lesson. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Mm hmm. Let's see here. So, how many of my moves can you fix strike with heart? Jesus. Time for the main event. Uh, my tempo. Just the bigger. That bigger. Clemency? Never heard of it. The time is now. Time for some sword play. Mm -hmm. in flight! Done. <laughs> Fleeing at the first sign of danger. That's all they're good for. Huh? What's this? Did those guys leave it behind? What did we find off the ground? Oh, what the whoa, whoa. fuck? What the heck? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Beep, beep, beep! Searching for potential user. Beep, beep, beep! Voice print detected. Looking up corresponding identity information. Oh my, it's an alien! What the hell? Hey, it talks! And it knows that we aren't from this planet? It doesn't seem to be technology from here. Look, it even has an International Peace Corporation logo on it. Perhaps it's an antiquity left behind by some past interstellar traveler. Beep, beep, beep. Your mom's an antiquity. Yeah. 
It's Mother's Day, man. Why are you saying that? Beep, beep, beep! Whatever, whatever. So, you aliens know about the Inter-Astral Peace Corporation? That's great! Why do you keep saying beep? Beep, beep, beep! Self-introduction. I am Richard, the Home Use Object Finder. Model information. Version 0.63. Professional model. Annual deluxe package. Nickname, Findy. I'm just gonna call you Findy, because I don't feel comfortable calling you my middle name. <laughs> A home use object finder? Who knew the IPC made these kinds of products? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is damaged. Please send me to an inter-astral peace appliances retail store near you for free repair within the warranty period of 232 years, 84 days. What the hell? Beep, beep, beep. Alien, please take me to an inter-astral peace appliances retail store to conduct repairs. I don't think there's any of those near here. What? This spell is already broken. What should we do? Take it with us? Let's leave it here. <laughs> it's not, by the way. Uh, you need to log out once in a while. I always thought it was weird that it's in my inventory, but now it's literally telling me to stop playing the game. <laughs> Let's take it with us. It doesn't take up much room. And if it really is broken, there are trash cans everywhere. <laughs> yes. Beep, beep, beep. Not a trash can. Yes, yes, yes. When you need to find something you can't see, just call upon Findy. That's me. Stop rhyming. Can I actually break this thing from second? Thank you. What happens if I just not authorized to use the lift? What do you mean I just pull the lever? There is no authorization needed here. Okay, what does this guy weak to? Of course. Huh. Many of my moves can you block? Blade in flight! <laughs> Time for the main event. Wait, I'm just realizing the music in the background. It's gonna... Uh, my tempo! You're in bad shape. Play. So I just mess with this guy. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was gonna kill. Oh. Well. Victory by the blade. Okay, watch over here. The puzzle to lead you to some more treasure, but before that. Okay, this one's actually kind of difficult. Never mind. Oh, I can... Where's the treasure, dude? I have no interest in stop. A one time enemy. Strike with heart. <laughs> time for the main event. Turn up the volume. Naughty children, don't listen. Favor the vigor of life. Seriously, can I have a real challenge? Stop. Victory. 
Now could you show me the rest of the way? Hey, what's that commotion? It sounds like there's a big argument happening. Let's get closer and take a look. Thank you. and bullies. I don't remember you guys acting this tough around Svarog's minions. <laughs> Did your parents never teach you what a backbone was? <laughs> we ain't stupid. Why would we risk our lives against the robots? And get off the high road. You can't just find a huge chunk of Geomero and hog it all to yourselves. But they gotta make a living too, you know. This mine is our territory. The mining team is laboring here day in and day out. You guys don't even pretend like you're here to lend a hand. You're lazy. All you want is to profit off our sweat and tears. You don't even try hiding it. Disgraceful. Where does disgrace come into it when we can't even fill our stomachs, huh? I know your game. You're just waiting for us to starve to death so there's more food for your mining team. It's a waste of time trying to reason with you. While you've been kicking up this fuss, the whole vein's been seized by robots. Now we're all in the same boat. <laughs> right, right. We can't rely on the vein anymore. But don't forget which side brought loaded guns to the party. Don't forget which side standing right behind you with a bunch of swords. Whoa, easy. What are you trying to pull off? I'm warning you, wildfire in the area. <laughs> Empty threat. Wildfire are stuck dealing with Sparag's minions. How are they gonna help you now? Unless you're planning on taking a bullet. Hand over the supplies and equipment. Ziva, step in. Oh, and ready to attack. Those miners are unarmed. You shameless scoundrels! I'm going too. We can't let these thugs get away with whatever they like. Yeah, Aha! And who do we have here? Do you know whose territory this is? Yeah, wildfires. Shut up. territory. I'm in a hurry. I'll take you all in one go. Blade in flight! Oh, look at the Time for the main now. event. Turn up the volume. The vigor of <laughs> Look who has empty hands now. Pretty good crowd today. Let's rock. Oh, Zila, thank goodness you came. We were nearly uh <laughs> nothing but a few knuckleheads. I'm just glad you're okay. Antonia, have you seen Chief Oleg? Oleg? He took a group into the intersection. Said it was to clear off the invading robots. They've been gone for a while now. <laughs> Seems like the oh, core of this Jesus problem Christ, is Svarok's robots. I should just keep my hand off the mouse during these. The boss. He appeared suddenly after the guards were redeployed and became a major player in the underworld. Svarog claims to be a guardian of humanity, while the ownerless robots obey his commands. They've occupied the Furnace Core hub, and they're not letting anyone get close. Nobody knows why Svarog did any of this. He usually doesn't leave the Furnace Core and interfere unless some kind of disorder breaks out in the underworld. Guardian of humanity that can command robots. I've never heard of anything like You've been stuck on the surface <laughs> Looks like your mighty architects weren't as all-knowing as you thought can you two say anything without quarreling This isn't the time <sighs> it Sounds like there's danger waiting for us in the intersection. Can we still get through? Yeah, we can do it 
Yeah, you still need to talk with the chief. It's only a bunch of scrap metal. What are we afraid of? Oh, is Zila starting to appreciate our strength? Mark, shut up. I'll be honest. You guys are hardworking. If everyone from Wildfire were as impressive as you on the battlefield, we wouldn't be so hard-pressed by Svarog. Antonia, can you take the mining team back through the entrance to meet up with Natasha? Yeah, sure thing. But uh, be careful. There are a lot of robots up ahead. Shift the balance! I did not mean to do that. Oh. Anything from... Yeah, there's that. Anything else for me to get here? Is this the right way? It looks like there's a roadblock up ahead. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, let's take a closer look. We can just go over it. <laughs> it's just boxes. It's completely blocked by the mine cart. Over here. What do we do? Over here. Look at this. Just. Can we blow it up? Right this way. Right this way. You see this right here? We're even over here. Easy. It belongs to the mining team. We can't just destroy it. We should try and fix it. Or, hear me out here, we can fix this later and just go around now. Easier said than done. Do you know how? Again, just go around for now. We can fix it later. Yeah, of course. Every underworlder worth their salt knows how to fix a minecart. Let me see. Hmm. Even the pen connecting the body to the chassis is broken. Not to mention the rear wheel set bearing. This looks like the work of Svarog's minions. We need to find spare parts we can use nearby. We're wasting time. Exactly why we should just go around. Beep, beep, beep. Friends, do you need to find something? Findy can help? Around. Around. No, Findy, we don't need your help. We can just go up, up, over. <laughs> How come you just jumped out on your own, little fella? Isn't your module thingy broken? Beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is indeed broken. However, manual input for search is still operable. Come on, input the name of the object you were looking for. Findy can help. Okay, Findy, go find G. I don't know a place to um, get your stuff fixed. <laughs> and leave us alone. <laughs> oh, well, aren't you confident? Well, let me give it a try then. Where's the input interface? Ah, found it. Minecart pin, minecart wheel set, confirm. Just like that? Beep, beep, beep. Request is being processed. We could already have made it past this, like, five times over by now. Beep, beep, beep. Match successful. Initiating search for lost item, minecart pin. This thing is so annoying. <laughs> I found the Paimon of this game. Beep, beep. Please commence search according to the Home Use Object Finder Safety Manual. We don't have a manual. I could just stop beeping. You clearly can just talk. Just talk. Oh, apparently we do. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. We could just go right over. Right over. No, no, no fight. Look at this. Beep, beep, beep. Finding will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an interastral piece. Right here. Store. Right here. Look at this. Look at this. Just up and over. Beep, beep, beep. Finding will create a calendar reminder for Shut when up. you want to visit an interastral piece appliances store. Shut up. Well, yeah. Beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the humanoid tactical microwave. Press skip Shut to cancel personalized up. ads. Beep, beep. Enter Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Shut up, will ya? Beep, beep, beep! Finding will create a calendar reminder it's for when you want to visit an Enter Astral Peace Appliances store. Beep, beep, beep! Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. Let me see. Uh, yeah, we can make do with this part. This little machine isn't half bad. It's annoying as fuck. Beep, beep, beep. What's that? Is that a hint of how convenient? <laughs> so, next time Don Hum gets lost, we can just use Bindy to find him, right? Uh, I think he's fine. Beep, beep, beep. No, I, I'm skipping. It was a good idea. 
Let's look for the next part. Beep, beep, beep. Initiating search. Beep, beep, beep. Nope. nope. I cannot do that anymore. I cannot do that anymore. Nope. Minecart pin acquired. Yay. Beep, beep, beep. Oh my Listen god. <laughs> I recommend that you use tactical microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Where's skip? Where is Skip? Finding will create a counter. Where is Skip? Potential target object detected. Where is Skip? Search hub. That's everything. You were a big help, Findy. Beep, 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 beep. Nope. We're nope. pretty lucky, huh? Without Findy, no, it probably would have taken half the day to find these parts. Or we could have just gone around. Well, not that long. But that little machine definitely made it a lot easier. No, it didn't. All right, let's go back and fix the minecart. Or we could have just gone around. Are you gonna do it yourself? Why wouldn't I? You've gotta be self-reliant down here. Watch, you might learn something. Yeah, you can, might might be able to learn something from me too and just go around. All right, mission accomplished. Cool, it's still blocking our path, is it not? <laughs> Quick work. You know, I didn't think you guys had worked a day in your lives, but you know how to get your hands dirty. Ah, uh, thanks. The thanks. cart is about to depart. We could have just gone. The robots will have seized the road ahead by now. We should go carefully. I was just about to attack it, but okay. It's one of Svarog's lapdogs, all right. Don't be afraid. I've dealt with those robots before. Let's go. That's it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Move carefully. That 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 is. Okay, well, it seems like this the is the truth time to use all these, um... Revealed in an instant. This Super is epic. It's cut a vision! Strike with heart! Practice is over! Swords descend! <laughs> oh, and the follow -up. Time for the main event. Keep up. My tempo! Super the vigor of The music here is time to know. Time for some sword play! <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Let's rock! Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! <laughs> Time for a shot. You're in bad shape. Okay, it's covered. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, that's <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. I wasn't having this much trouble asking <laughs> bosses. Think nothing of it. Two little me bosses like this. You can breathe easy again. Blade in flight! Where are you locking onto my This healer? song's just for you. Turn up the volume. Okay, yeah, we got this. Favor the vigor of Dead. Alright, let's keep going. Nothing else here? Okay.
What do you weak to? Clemency? Never heard of it. A one time enemy. Strike with heart! Take nap time. Oh, I was just, I was hoping that was going to cheese. The time is now. And I did that shield to you, buddy. <sighs> Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Seeing it up close, this vein's even more spectacular. I doubt the underground will ever see it fully excavated. Mm. Yeah, look at that. Wow. That is a lot of... I keep wanting to say core lapis. Robert, that's not core lapis. You're not playing Genshin. Can't stop the run! Okay. I missed, I missed, I missed. Hi. Can't stop. Oh, dude, and there goes all the shit. Seeing it up close, this vein is more spectacular. And the repeating voice lines, wonderful. I doubt the underground will ever see it fully excavated. Mm. Okay. And okay. This that is beautiful, thing. though. So oh, this is what everyone is fighting over. Clara. Mr. Sparrow, it's such a massive vein. I've That's far off. So much geomero before. Calculating. Based on the average rate of excavation, this vein is enough to supply Bellabog with 231 days of energy, with a margin of error of seven days. Man looks like a transformer. I sense that your reason for summoning me is not the boring question. State your true intention, Clara. Right. I wanted Mr. Spark to see that many miners and vagrants have gotten hurt because of the vein. Can you help them? I have already prevented the dispute and taken temporary control of the excavation zone. Evaluation result. In the event of no further variables, there will be no large-scale armed conflict within the next 30 days. <laughs> yeah, there's just conflict outside of this area now. Wonderful job, dude. You spread the problem. I know why you did it, Mr. Sparog. It's just... I don't think it'll be enough. The mining team in Wildfire... They don't understand your actions. <sighs> if only we could do more for them. My mission is the protection of the underworld. The trust of the minority sample is redundant to my calculations. <laughs> Okay, there's your human behavior will always deviate from rational calculation, Clara. As evidenced by their presence here. Sparag! We haven't settled our final score. Zila, subordinate to wildfire. Your resistance is futile. The result of my calculation is unequivocal. Remaining in the underworld is the optimal strategy for survival. This again. Calculation results, survival strategies. I haven't got time for your thesis. Withdraw your forces, or I'll lose my temper. I think you already have, Zila. Observe, Clara. Even under abject conditions, humans are unable to avoid division and conflict. But Mr. Swarov, 
Human failure to accept the calculation result is a significant threat to the survival strategy of the underworld. Calculation complete. Result unequivocal. Armed suppression of wildfire and their allies is the optimal course of action. Actually, no, not really. They're, they're kind of like a family. We must leave, Clara. External variables have triggered a calculation reset. The furnace core hub requires protection. Please, Mills. Don't hit them too hard. <sighs> I was getting bored of those minions. Time for a real fight. Come at me! Can we get Zeela as a troll character, maybe? No. no. Didn't think so. Oh. Move cap. They just set themselves to detonate just a second here. No more. So, how many of my moves of can life you block? Death. Revealed in an instant, this sanctuary is but a vision! There we go, There's some damage. Time for some sword play! Blade in flight! Practice is over! Swords descend! <laughs> Oh, right here. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. This guy's easier than the last one. <laughs> That'll favor the vigor of clemency. Never heard of it. Stop. So, how many of my moves strike with heart? Time now, time. Okay, he's back in action. I might eat my own words here, let's see. Oh god, he just... Really are okay. no. That doesn't look good. Yeah, I'm sure it's... Time now. the vigor of it. Look at how low that is. Okay, I was about to say. Phew. Not bad. How many of these big guys is Sparog hiding? A lot. Which is why Wildfire has never been able to take him down. Sparog's forces are too strong. We don't have enough firepower. Clara? Don't worry about her. That girl is best pals with Svarog. She's always following behind him. He wouldn't harm her. I guess I'm just used to seeing them together now, even if I don't understand it. Let's look for the chief. No need to look far. Nice work, Zelo. We were attacked on both sides by robots. It looks like a wolf. Who knows where they came right? from? We thought we were in it for the long haul. <laughs> Chief, is everyone okay? Is I thought sure just gonna be dead. We're fine. We're used to it at this point. We sent those pesky robots and ragtag troops packing. The mine should be quiet for a while. And uh, who are your friends here? Well, one of them's in Overworld. The rest of us are not from here, so. Ah, them. They're outsiders that Sample brought down from who knows where. They need a favor from Wildfire, so I brought them with me. It'll be faster if they explain.
We are here to make <laughs> it's friends. It's been a while since I heard that anyone was pleased to meet anyone. <laughs> I won't forget you in a hurry. Wildfire welcomes you. Let's go. So, you went to all this trouble to find Wildfire. Your smell's not moving. What help is it you need? Are you talking, dude? Okay. <laughs> I didn't know you'd put on a show for the overworld, too. Impressive. <laughs> well, this is new. Wildfire can barely take care of the underworld. And now outsiders are looking for assistance from us. Can, can your mouth... Did they not... Did Mihoyo not bother to animate this guy's mouth or something? This Stellaron you speak of. I've never heard of it. But if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about... Then one name does come to mind. Kakolia. The current Supreme Guardian is a liar. Yes. He uses sweet words to deceive the underworld. Yeah. She's never cared about our survival. Yeah. Stop right there. I won't allow you to insult the Madam Guardian. Vrania, in this instance right here, I very much implore you to hold your tongue. In this overworld. My words may be painful to you, but every one of them is true. Go out into the towns and hear for yourself. See how the people here suffer. <sighs> I haven't gotten close to voicing the extent of the underworld's grievances, young lady. But I will respect your request. I will leave it at that for now. Let's get back to the main topic. It's throwing The name me that so came to much. my mind was Svarog. Huh? Isn't Svarog Wildfire's sworn enemy? Why would a mere robot in the underworld have knowledge of important secrets? Sworn enemy. Not how I see it. The young master here is closer. Svarog is a cold, unfeeling machine. He recognizes only the dead reasoning of his calculations. Not entirely true. He protects Clara. Svarog is not against Wildfire. Or perhaps I should say, Wildfire isn't even of concern to him. That ancient robot witnessed the war. If you're looking to pick up a thread, he may well be your best source. So wait, he witnessed the war with the Antimatter Legion right before the Stellaron hit, so yeah, it would make sense. Hearing this world was invaded by the Legion hundreds of years ago. Robots don't forget. If Svarog hasn't heard of your Stellaron, then I'm afraid perhaps no one has. In which case, we Kukulia need to think of a has. way to convince Svarog to communicate with us. Or get him to hand over his memory bank. We could go through it ourselves. Yeah, that one's a lot less likely with their march. Uh, what should we do? We've tried repeatedly to negotiate with Svarog, but he rejects every effort. He believes that wildfire is a threat. Still, if it were you guys... Hmm, it's difficult to say. We have time. Let's get into the details tomorrow. It's late, and you must have been through a lot. Go back to the town and rest. I'll make arrangements. Okay. Again? I'm starting to get nervous of arranged rest on this planet. True. As True. for our silver mane girl here, do you have time? I'd like to talk with you in private. Man, like she's asking and not like demanding or anything. That's a good sign, right? What's next here? Go to. Okay, cool. Where is that though? There it is. I'll need to record today's notes in the databank. Oh, you oh, must be girl. Oleg's guests. Welcome to the Gerda Grand Hotel. Yep, you've probably seen that stylish Gerda Hotel above ground, right? Uh, not the most pleasant memories of that place. Yeah, we were kind of... 
attacked right outside. That's the above ground branch of the Whoa. Grand Hotel. A few hundred years ago, one ancestor of the Goethe family was ambitious and sought to build something big for nothing. He eventually realized his dream and opened a hotel branch in the most expensive area on the surface. Oh, people with big dreams have big determination. Oleg wants me to take good care of y'all. Here's the key. You'll be staying in our most spacious guest room. I really don't trust this. Man. What do you think? Should we go ahead and call it a day? Or walk around a bit more first? Let's call it a day. <sighs> time to rest again. I hope there aren't any surprises this time. That Oleg. Hope there's not another closet. He's <laughs> What do you guys think? Yeah, appearances can be mm. deceiving. Happy now? She's even starting to sound like you. <laughs> Isn't that a good thing, though? It has nothing to do thing. with me. Yeah. This is how I thought. But That's if you ask for my opinion, it's better to be safe than sorry. Yeah. Ah, oh, fine. We'll keep our guards up. Our last hotel experience was eventful, to say the least. Got it. I'll sleep in my bat right next to One of us should keep watch tonight. <laughs> I didn't, didn't need that much, but... Keep, keep watch? Are we space cowboys now? I guess oh, I'm by the, the music. cosmic wild west. I'm judged by the music in the background, kinda, yeah. <laughs> oh, anyone else sleepy? Marge looks <laughs> uh, No, I don't. Oh, uh, besides, I've never pulled an all nighter before. Do you know how bad it is for your skin? Marge, you definitely have. I'll keep watch. Oh, okay. <laughs> how are we supposed to trust you? Branya, did you finish talking to Oleg? Hope he didn't make things difficult for you. Not really. Though it wasn't the friendliest conversation. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. Well, yeah, obviously. I've come to know a great deal in a short time. I doubt I'll be able to fall asleep tonight. I doubt I'll be able to sleep either. Not that I don't trust you. It's just, you're a silver main guard officer in the underground. There might be people looking to harm you. I wouldn't be surprised if there are. Silver main guards have a lot to make amends for down here. Yeah, a lot. If someone had made a stand in the outset and explained the consequences to Madame Cocolia, uh, forget it. It's meaningless to talk about it now. You don't need to worry about me. Oleg guaranteed that I wouldn't be harmed. He seemed like a man of his word. Yeah. Go and rest. He does. Cocolia was never, never seemed like a woman of her word. So, <laughs> yeah. Much more trustworthy. If, this guy seems much more trustworthy. Oh god, there's another closet. I'm just gonna go. To that. <laughs> Paper pen. Do I get anything from this? Oh, I can rate this. Um, neutral. That is average. Dear guest, please rate the tea, the tea provided in your hotel room. Neutral. <laughs> please rate the lighting and view from the hotel. Huh? I kind of like it. What's all the clapping in the back? Coming up with origin content is always a headache. It's better, better to make it a multiple choice question. Very happy with the excellent service. Thank you. It was an average experience. I should have said very happy because it's way better. <laughs> Your friendly neighborhood nameless. <laughs> I can't right now. <laughs> I can't right now. <laughs> Eisenberg. <laughs> Hmm, what to pick here, what to pick here. You know, this is a very tough and trying decision here. Because <laughs> all of these are kind of like... 
all of these are gonna be killed. Um, let's see here. Uh, Heisenberg. <laughs> you bastard beast. What is with? I go over the whole review again. It's not. Right. I'm done. <laughs> oh yes, Heisenberg. Anyway, let's rest. Nope, of course I don't get a good night's nice sleep. Of course. Her. My wish. Your so called plan. What is the point of it all? My only you soulless thing. How could you begin to fathom? You will never understand. Never. Kakolia, Kakolia, Kakolia. Her voice again. Such a strange dream. Don't know why, but the female protagonist's voice is so calming. May as well go for a walk if I can't sleep. It's still night, isn't it? Yep, of course. Come on, Don Hong. I'm, dra I'm dragging you along with for this. Who goes there? Show yourself. I'm right in front of you. <laughs> oh, it's you. Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. Well, yeah, you don't have your um, musket on you anymore. Should we tell her about like the um, vision we just had of her mother? I think we should. No sleep for you either, huh? The more that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. More, lo more like the more, more like the longer we're on this planet, the more the still inside me is transmitting me's visions connected to the other still on this planet. I think that's how. I think that's what's going on anyway. Actually, <laughs> seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? Sure, fire this away. Stellaron you speak of. If you were to find it. How sure are you that you can stop the eternal freeze? You better ask Don Hong. He's the expert in this. I'm new. Is he your thing. leader? I feel mm. he possesses a great stillness of mind in everything he does. Pretty much, yeah. You know, it was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. <laughs> as far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? Uh, because, she I don't know. She, she was given orders by someone else? Something else? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. It bothers me. She realized that the Stellaron does not want us here. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Stellaron? Uh, still, orders are orders. <laughs> it's not for soldiers to question their superiors. But you should. Yeah, only full fault soldiers blindly. Yes. I don't need you to remind me. And I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. Yeah, I could hear I could hear but that in your voice the when sense you're trying of duty to arrest us. To carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero have remained open. The passage between the surface and the underground ceased. Huh. 
I approved of that decision. Did you or did you just follow it blindly? I never thought that the underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. Mm -hmm. But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. Get rid of the stone. Help me change the mind of the Madam Guardian? <laughs> Not easy. But he knows that better than I do. Ah, the more I think about it, the more disoriented I get. Which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Yeah, you can't save the world. Should do that. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I I just need more time to think. Reasonable. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. Uh, okay. Shouldn't you be standing guard? Th okay. <laughs> Sorry, March and uh, Don Hong. You're on your own now. I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place with someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so Sorry, quiet I need to catch here. up with you. I'm not used to it. <sighs> the quieter things are around you, the louder. I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine Don't go after the hard. mining teams. They must be desperate. Still, whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? I don't know. How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Mm. Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. It's not. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. The rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? Lives are on the line. And they we came over and didn't just didn't just eavesdrop. Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Couldn't sleep. Up to no good, perhaps? Couldn't sleep. We're just having a walk. Neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. Walk somewhere else, then. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. Really just giving us the most simpish line right here. <laughs> oh yeah? Well look at you swaggering in like the protagonist in your own story. Well we are, so here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more. Wait, I'm just wondering here, if I put on this to where it automatically goes by itself, right? So it's automatically going, will it automatically go with The situation this in other towns is even worse than ours. No. No, it will not. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around, causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Hey, Bronia. You're realizing now just how severe it is, don't you? Easy now, Zila. Anger isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I 
used to manage an orphanage, a clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. We'll help you. You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. I'm fine. Hold up. I never said you could join us. Cool. We're saying we could join. People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. I have some experience as well. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. <laughs> with you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. Okay. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit, and you'll arrive there. <sighs> let me think. Uh, I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Okay. Be careful. Don't push yourselves too hard. Okay. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it. Piece of cake. Let's go. If we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. If we hadn't happened to be passing by, were you really planning on going into the Fragmental alone? Of course. What's all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. So reckless. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, oh God. any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, really as well as a communications officer. Exactly. A rule of the Silvermane Guards. Don't apply your rules to us. All right, let's head to Rivet. We're here. This that was fast. This is Rivet Town. What's left of it? Everything looks familiar. What's left of it, anyway? Let's go. And watch your step. I haven't been here in a long time. Yeah, it still looks pretty intact, apart from a bit of corrosion here and there. The music in the background here, dude. Way over there. See that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. Jesus. Sure she wasn't the mayor? After Oleg found me, he sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. Yeah, Natasha said impressive. that the house was donated by some rich businessman. Whatever his business may have been, he must have been a good person. I miss those carefree days as a kid. Huh. Well, your days as a kid in Honkai Impact were not so carefree at all. Neither were Bronius. What? Nothing to say? No, it's just... This place seems familiar somehow. Uh, never mind. How much do you bet Gronia... Gronia? <laughs> How much do you bet Bronia grew up here as well? Weirdo. Look I'm down there. <laughs> See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivetown's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Let's keep moving. Watch out for monsters. Go. Sir, I have to check and make sure that there's nothing. Careful! Left being... okay. Enemies ahead. Yeah. These aren't like vagrants. They won't. Don't. Oh. He turns around and sees me stealing the chest from behind his back. It's like, hey, hold pent. The time is now. A one time enemy. Uh, my tempo. They 
savor the vigor of Easy. Victory by the blade. Uh, restaurant? <laughs> the most famous restaurant in town. Natasha would bring the kids who behaved well here for a special meal. So, oh, did she what ever bring you? What the is that? <laughs> Do I seem like I was a goody two-shoes? Of course not. It's too late to repent. Strike with heart. Pretty good crowd today. Turn up the volume. You're in bad shape. What the hell is it doing? Ow. Jeez. This song's just for you. Let's rock! <laughs> just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. You can breathe easy again. Next time. <laughs> a delicate operation. Nope. This can go towards my allowance. Yeah. But the cities here seem to be in pretty good shape. But not like those of a place that has been abandoned for years. Now that you mention it, it does seem a little. Could people still be living here? Impossible. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It still looks pretty intact, all things considered. Bunch of crates piled over there. Maybe we can find what we're looking for. Yeah. Uh -huh. Watch out. So that was It's too late to repent. Pretty good crowd today. Clemency? Never heard of it. Victory by the blade. Let me just... Ha! Some other, other stuff here. Ice plane, eat the ice. Oh, God, there's another one of these things. Ow. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. A one time enemy. Strike with heart. <laughs> time for the main event. Turn up the volume. <laughs> That'll take more than medicine. Nap time.
the truth of life and death just, revealed in this an recording instant. is getting this sanctuary <laughs> is but a vision finish barely survived that victory by the blade we'll get this How could they all be empty? Now even the monsters are gathering supplies? Then there must be other people here. The monsters of the Fragmentum don't need any materials we humans use. And if they did take anything, this place would look much messier. You mean that someone else got here and took everything before us? It's just a guess, but there are also some footprints on the ground here. Hmm. The scent of dirt is still fresh. They can't have come too long before us. Let's go then. We need to find something, even if we have to search every corner of this market. Okay. Begin to sorry, this is already an hour and sixty minutes long, so yeah. I'm gonna be ending it here. Oh, wonderful. Anyway, so yeah. See you guys in the next part of this. Ignatus Vera Cognitius. I'll see you next time.